ambo ambayo imechipuka hapa mambo kuhusu vetting ambayo inafanyika kwa nominizi wa rais William Samuel Ruto. Mimi nataka kuambia leo kulingana na wale William Ruto wa minominate sijawahi ona na sitawahi sidhani kama nitaiona a competent ministry kama ya Ayati mzee Mwai Kibaki. Mwai Kibaki are the best and the most competent ministers in both his first term and in second term that of coalition. Nikiangalia chenye how ministers walifanya hizo miaka kumi, ama hizo sura ama hizo wakili nikuje nichukue hizo wakili niweke pande huu. Alafu nichukue how ministers ambao wamechaguliwa na Ruto niweke akili zao na experience yao pande huu. Hawa hawawezi. Hawa hawawezi. Na kama kwa kusabu gani nasema hivyo? Just look at them. Look at their history. Look at their background. The blueprint that the Kenya nation is using was developed in Kibaki's era. Because of the nature and na akili yake ya wisdom ambayo alitumia kwa nia ya kupeleka inchi mbele. Kibaki did not go for, for cronies as Ruto has gone for cronies as such. Kibaki went for competent and qualified experienced polished individuals who knew exactly what they are supposed to do for the nation of Kenya that is why the blueprint that was made then has never been tampered with it is then that we got the new constitution 2010 it is then that you have the vision 2030 in kibaki's era what are, what what did you have in uru zara that you can be we can brag about nothing only we only had handshake here bab but the what propels the economy to its next level to lipata kwa kibaki i want to see i want to challenge dr william ruto to bring to bring us a totally different or unique positive thing that will change that blueprint to its level not only ministers in form of cronies hiyo hatutaitikia lakini kama watajaribu tutaitikia sasa hivi mimi semi ruto akona ministers i want to see results i don't want to see figures and cronies Hiyo ndio kitu tunataka tuone. Ya pili kuna kitu kima amesema hapa mambo ya ni kuvunja unit fulani ya security. Nataka kusema hivi. Avunja ndio nataka kuvunja. Bora sisi wa Kenya tunafanya nini? Tuko sawa. If he has because iko kwa docket yake as the as the commander in chief of armed forces. Hauna otherwise lakini tutafanya nini? Tutati. Lakini kama mivunja na sababu zile zinadhirisha ni sababu za muhimu avunje lakini asivunja then tena wa Kenya wakuje waumie lakini from from experience the police officers sometimes pia kuna vile watu fanyi wema lakini muona kashaga wamwambia vizuri ukipata mtu amegonga vitu vitu hapa beba na gari kufanya nini upeleke kwa nyumba si ati sometimes back tulikuwa rest hapa tukitoka tukuona mpira usiku the following day unapelekwa kotini without no proper reason Umetoka kuona mpira usiku you are a Kenyan hauna uwezo wa kumudu kununua DSTV polisi kuna na wewe anakushika and then in fact if Ruto has done it with a reason behind it i will you appreciate kama kuna sababu nikiwacha sasa siasa narudi kwa mambo ya mimi nilisha announce kitile ni mandana nataka kwa hii bunge na kwa majira naitwa kwa wala ni juu naitwa Wilson Obiero mimi nimekaa kwa hii bunge Na mnajua vile tumengangania kuweka ibunge mbaka mahali mefika. Na nyi mnajua uwezi yangu kwa ibunge kama mandugu zangu. Na dada yangu leo tuko na mrembo mbele yetu. Na kama kuna dada mejificha hapo nuna pia yoso acknowledge you. Na haomba hivi. Mimi nimesimama kiti ya uspika ya ibunge. Ibunge kulingana vile imejulikana. Inataka mutu ambaye akona kili timamu na kili wima. Ibunge, mimi, mimi, mimi kama speaker, mimi kama mutu ambaya mesimama speaker, mutu asiniambie maro biyora kumrengo gani, maro biyora kumrengo gani. Mimi kama speaker, nitafanya kazi na rahis ambaye mutachagua. Na mimi ningehomba wale ambao wa mesimama. Aa, mimi pia naomba kwa wale ambao wa mesimama. Ni vizuri tufanye uchaguzi kwa njia kwa njia nini? 
Yeah, man. Well, just one minute, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Kwanji Yamani. Because the moment we give a demonstration, we will set a correct precedence to other bunges in this country. And as a matter of fact, you've seen what has been happening in some other bunges. Wanapigana our chagwangi, wanapigana. Ukiangalia bunge ya jivanji, they normally fight to get votes. They don't elect. So let us set precedence kuwa, we can go through the ballot and give justice to the election process. So by demonstrating that kwa bunge, Ninge homba wana hichi amba wako hapa. Tufanya election yetu kwa njia mani, tupendane, tukujo tuweke hii bunge, ikue one of the best bunge in this nation, in Nairobi County, in East Africa, in Africa, and in the world. So that I see more obieros, I see more kangas, I see more jakababa, and I see ministers emerge from this bunge. I see MPs emerge from this bunge. I see even the president of the Republic of Kenya emerge from this bunge and beyond. So, be patient. Jakababa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't jump the guns. It might harm you. So, hold your horses. I'll communicate. Sasa na malizia. Naomba, if mimi naomba tu kurayenyu. Munu chagwe kama speaker, niweke ibunga ikai sawa, tuishi kama mandugu na, ma, na madada, and God bless you. Aya, maneno ndio haya. Maneno ndio hayo sasa. Uh, order, order, order. Uh, we are going to reduce that time because time is running. From five minutes to end and pack three minutes. So please, kikuja kudibate. Yes, karibu Mr. My friend ameingia, mesema, amesha fika. Feel free, feel free, my friend. So, so, to tapunguza yo, sir. Dave, kidogo to please, my friend. I recognize you. So, so, so to tapunguza to three minutes, please. So, nitaita uyu rafiki yangu. Talk in three minutes. Tafatu, so, so. Hey. <laughs>